the name of the game is humiliation and that is what week six brought us or rather that's what week six that's what we're leading into in the week six of the nfl season that's what we're going to get to week five happened it came and it went yeah i'm surprised that the commanders got smacked around like that by the bears i'm surprised that the bears have a win maybe it's because chase claypool has been traded to the dolphins you know i I don't I don't understand it. I genuinely do not at this point in time, you know? I don't understand, but hey. The Bears have a win. That's good, right? That's good. Um Yeah. What's not good is being a Dallas Cowboys fan right now. And I'll tell you very much so the Dallas Cowboys have an offense that has looked anemic struggling, squeamish, all sorts of, you know, all sorts of bad words that, you know, all sorts of negative words that can be described as, yeah, y'all are not cooking. We are not cooking. The Cowboys are not cooking right now. They are not cooking on offense. They do not cook. San Francisco, however, you know, for all that talk about the Texas Coast offense, which I hate that term, and I, I, I it, no, there's no such thing as a Texas Coast offense. I, I, I'm about as tired of it as Taylor Swift mentions, you know. Yeah, San Francisco, they look like they are that team, you know. You know, you got you got Brock Purdy playing good football, taking care of the ball, doing everything he needs to do. You have you have CMC in the backfield. You have a good defense. Um, you know, you know, Bosa, Warner. I mean, I mean, I mean, just, just, they're just, they're just, they're just all, it's just everything's just there. Everything's just there for you know for San Francisco right now. Um, Las Vegas, Green Bay, Monday night. If you watch that game on Monday night. Well, you'll know these two teams try to out stupid one another. I mean, these two teams do not look very good. Jordan Love, we've said, you know, the past couple of weeks that Jordan Love is not the answer in Green Bay. But, you know, Green Bay is probably going to be stuck with Jordan Love. Las Vegas, on the other hand, you know, just problems among problems among problems. You know, they have pieces on both the offensive and defensive sides, but they just can't put it all together. Um, and yet, Las Vegas still wins this game. <clears throat> Matt Milano's gone. Another guy, you know, is gone. There's so there's so many guys on the Bills' defense that's gone. And yet, Josh Allen, you know, played for the most part. He even played very good for the most part. The Jags' defense stepped up yet again, and the Jags escape London with two wins. They get out of London with two straight victories which is crazy you know trevor lawrence and company they did just enough to beat the bills on offense and the defense took care of the rest and you know bill belichick you know he's just gonna have to live with the reality that matt jones is him the patch the the, the 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 patriots they are not that team not very good new orleans easily took care of that defense in new orleans is still very good the offense is a little suspect right now but the defense very much good and, you know, Amon Ross St. Brown was injured, but it didn't matter because, you know, Carolina's terrible. Bryce Young, you know, he's still a rookie, still trying to prove himself. And the Lions easily took care of business. JJ, Justin Jefferson, he's hurt. Hammy in that game with the Kansas City Chiefs, Minnesota Vikings, in which Minnesota decided to just beat the Minnesota Vikings and lose a game by less than one score again in you know, the worst fashion. We're talking a fumble to start the game on the opening possession. And, I mean, the Chiefs were struggling. And they have been kind of struggling all season long. But, yeah, J.J. is hurt. So somebody else is going to have to step up. Uh, I'm presuming Jordan Addison will have to in J.J.'s place while he's out. Devon A. Chain, he's also hurt. He's been playing electric the past few weeks, and yet he's hurt as well. I hate it here. I hate it these two guys are hurt, man. And you know, Jonathan Taylor, he's not a new contract. Good good deal. You know, the holdout is over, but does that even matter right now with Zach Moss running like crazy? And you know, speaking of guys 
you know, that have to, you know, stay relevant and stay healthy. AR5, Anthony Richardson, got hurt yet again. And thus, you know, Gardner Minshew had to come in. And Gardner Minshew will be starting, I believe, this Sunday against the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is going to be a really good game. You know, a lot of people aren't going to get that game in certain parts of the country unless you have NFL Red Zone or, you know, or YouTube TV or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a good one. We'll talk about that in a moment. And the Ravens, you know, they decided to do the nonsense again. You know, a couple weeks ago against Indianapolis, they just they, they pissed the game away. And they did it again with drops by the wide receivers this time. And, you know, Lamar Jackson was making the plays, but everybody else was not doing their thing. Pittsburgh is not good at all, and yet Pittsburgh has another win on their resume. A really good, a really good victory, by the way. And Cooper Cup, he's back. He, you know, him and Puka Nakua are going to be a on a tear. You know, the Eagles defense saved the day yet again, along with some AJ Brown and you know Jalen Hurts antics. But yeah, this the Eagles defense is still legit. You know, Eagles may be sleepwalking. A little bit, but they're still very legit. And you look at week six, you know, why are the Giants prime time? They just got smacked around by Miami yet again. Um, you know, Brees Hall, he played really, really good against the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos are trash. Um, Jets, you know, they're, they're middling, but they're able to get another victory on their record. And the way Brees was running, he had nearly 200 yards of total offense by himself. Again, will he be able to run all over the Eagles' defense? Um, the, def- the defense of the Eagles has been a victim of passing yards mostly at times, you know, I think. But if if the running game can get going for New York, then, hey, by all means, by all means, that could be good. And again, A.J. Brown, Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith as well. Throw him in there. The boys just keep cooking. They keep cooking. Hurts has been throwing the ball like crazy the past few weeks. And, you know, this might be some trouble for the Jets. Um, Detroit, Tampa Bay, going to be in a game that got flexed to the late window, but it's going to be overshadowed by Philadelphia and, and New York. Um, yeah, that if you get that game in your area where you live at, unfortunately, I'm going to be able. To, I'm going to watch both games regardless. I'm going to find a way to watch both Detroit, Tampa Bay, and the Eagles, the Jets. Um, very promising game on Sunday afternoon in the late window. Kansas City, they aren't the same. This team definitely looks different. Travis Kelsey's been, you know, banged up a little bit. Patrick Mahomes is still Patrick Mahomes. He's doing his thing, but it's everybody else aside from like Isaiah Pacheco. You know, I'm talking about the rest of the receiving core. Really, defense is good, solid. They can play really, really good when they need to. The offense still has guys that need to step it up. You know, especially at the wide receiver core. You know, and San Francisco, I beat. Mean, unchallenged so far. They're going to Cleveland. Will they continue to flex their muscles? We will find that out. Uh, again, the Cowboys, again, do can they fix their offense? We will find out. Brandon Staley and the LA Chargers are waiting for him. The Chargers, you know, off the bye week, you know, have, have some things of their own they need to fix. Really, it's their defense. I'm sure J.C. Jackson has been shipped off already, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot. And again, why the Giants are brought in time? That's it's another Sunday night game in which I'm not going to be – I'm just not going to – I'm not even going to waste my time with the Giants because they're terrible. And again, what do y'all think? Y'all think C.J. Stroud is going to throw a pick against New Orleans? I, I have, That's a genuine question I have because he hasn't thrown a pick yet this season. He's playing really good football. You know, Houston lost on the last second field goal against Atlanta in which Ritter barely outplayed C.J. Stroud. I'm telling you, it was a punch – punch and yet the, the and yet Atlanta counted with another punch, you know. So yeah. Y'all, yeah I'm serious. Do y'all think Stroud would throw a pick? The New Orleans defense is really, really good. I'm 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 being I'm being genuine with that question. 
All right. So while I'm still working and waiting on some other things for that video that I'm said, uh, you know, yesterday was either going to be Saturday or Sunday night. What do y'all think of this week? Week six is going to be very intriguing for all the right reasons. We are a quarter. No, wait, not a quarter. No, a third. We're about to be a third of the way through the NFL season already. I, I'm already sad. We're already a third of the way through, at least the regular season anyway. We're, we're about a quarter through the, through the whole season in general, but a third through the regular season. You get what I mean? So, yeah. Um, big boy sports signing out. I uh, will see you all later. Um, see y'all on either Saturday morning, Sunday morning, either or. Y'all take care. And, and again, hope y'all enjoy week six of the NFL season.